Hello, welcome back to working on the rainbow journal. This is part two, and I kind of wanted to show you some things that I did after I stopped filming. I think I'm gonna switch out the cover. Um, I'm gonna obviously need to add a thicker spine, but I like, <laughs> my little clips are gonna make it difficult to see, but I like the, the size or the length of this one and then if I add a bigger spine because the other book let me show you is too tall now that everything's been cut down see too tall so I'll use that for something else and then I'm probably gonna cover this I'm still thinking about my cover. I'm not totally sure what I want to do. All right, so I clipped in some things um, in the journal for th things that I want to add. This I'm going to add and make it a flip out. And then I can also show you I did the stitching. So those are all stitched. And then I found some really cool big, I think it's toll painting but they're toll painting books. Um, and then, cause I was like, oh man, I don't have any large pages that are flipping out. So I put a couple in and I'm still deciding if I like the gesso or not. Um, I ordered some cardstock, so I might print the pages on a light cardstock. We'll see. I don't know. All right, so there, I think that's all. Oh, and then this one flips out there. I'm gonna add it some coffee dyed paper. Oh, and here I just glued on a Tim Holtz paper to cover up the blue. And then I put this in here so I can decorate this tag and this big pocket here. And then there's the stitching on there as well. And I stitched all the way around. So there's that one. And then let's see. This one, I want to add this record card and make it a pocket. Another flip out. Thought this was fun. Lemon, lemons and daisies, and it's in the yellow section. <laughs> We're stitching on the pages that we made. And there's more right there. And this one, I want to do something with this bag. Either have it flip out or something. I don't know, but I attached it here. Is that it? I think that's it for that one. And red. So red has several things. More stitching. This TWA, I want to make a pocket. I think it looks really cool with this page of ephemera, or the page that has ephemera. And then I want to put the tomato pocket on this page. Another flip out. And then I want to make the CD case uh, also a flip out. And I think that's it. Oh, and here's the double pocket that we made. And there's those two pages together. So I love how that looks. Oh, and then on this one, I love how that looks too. All right, so that's kind of where I am. And then I have these two pages that I thought we could work on today. So let's see. This one is a yellow old envelope, older envelope. And I added, I have these sticker tickets and then just a piece of washi tape to cover up um, either side. And I thought this could be a little tuck right here. Um, but we might want to, I'm wondering, Yeah, I guess we can just do a tuck like that. So I'm wondering what we want to put on here. And then this one, I was watching, what's her name, Corey? The gal who's doing all the flips, tucks um, series. And she had a really cool idea where you take bits of paper and then um, punch a hole, lay it on the other paper like that and then you can have all sorts of fun tucks this way 
So I thought maybe this can go here. And then this one can go. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so these I think we're gonna glue on and then I'll probably stitch later on. And this is part of the Tim Holtz pack, the new papers. I guess I should glue this way too. And I want to cover it because the reason I wanted to do this is it's in the yellow section, but it was green on the background. So I want to make sure. Is that how you want to do it? Maybe I had it this so that, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, so then this kind of overlaps this, and I'm okay with that. I could trim it off, but, ooh, is this the side I wanted? I think so, with the yellow flower. Yeah, not the, not the plain side, but the flower side. You know what? I should have inked. Oh, well, too late now. I got the glue. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. And I want to stick this. This card's kind of a little bit on the grungy side. That'll be okay. There we go. And then we can make some things to tuck inside. Yep, and I'll probably just stitch. I don't know. Maybe I won't. But I like that. I like it. I feel like we need a little something down here. So let's see what I have. I haven't used any lace or ribbon yet. Let's see if I have any yellow. This is a little too bright for this page. And let's see if there's any yellow goodies here. Stamp would be fun. I had it all color organized, but then I, I started using the buckets. Not the buckets, but the little envelopes and things that these came from. there and then that helps since it's uneven. I like that idea. There we go. And I know this is orange <laughs> but um, it says yellow. I feel like that's good. That's good enough. There we go. And then what if we just do a little cluster? I'll put this behind it. Kind 
kind of being hidden, isn't it? Alright, what if I almost used my fabric scissors on my cardstock? What if we do this? ink I like it. It makes it look like that. It's a pocket though. That's okay. Okay. I think that's good for now. And then I'll see if there's something else to add later. And then this guy. Let me go get some bits um, kind of ready and I'll be right back. Okay, I found some things. Um, some Tim Holtz stuff. So this one I thought was fun. Education Library and it's a sticker. This isn't Tim Holtz actually. And neither is this one. <laughs> so I lied. <laughs> But I like that. And then I thought this was fun to go with the library um, system of marking um, an old report card. All right, this is how we used to mark report cards when I was growing up or when I was a kiddo. And then this just made me laugh. I recently um, posted this somewhere about the correct way to roll, hang up your toilet paper from the, um, what is this, from the patent? Because <laughs> it's an ongoing um thing and my family and then the abc of animals so anyway some little bits and things that are yellow and would match and i thought i could collage them and then i thought this black it's um what is it called i think flocking but the black makes it kind of pop and fun so let's see and i don't know if i want to cover watch i'll say that and then i'll end up covering the whole thing the whole thing, maybe bits of this card. Yeah, look at me, I'm already covering the whole thing. Just to get an idea. Maybe the toilet paper is not gonna make it in. I think this is kind of cool because this is a sticker. This part is just getting the sticker off the back. And then I might cut it and then use the other piece. You know what? I think I want a little edge, like a border.
and this. Let's go here somehow. stickers I found a while back probably a year ago on Aliexpress or yeah probably Aliexpress and I have a bunch of them and I always forget to go through them <laughs> of pulling it all the way off again and then if we do this I want to cover that do I want that to be a tuck hmm. <laughs> it's fun it says promoted to third grade Want a little bit of this kind of peeking out at different parts. Maybe a little more. And then some up here.
of mushrooms start at one side and then kind of hop over to the other. So trim. right there and this guy right there Go ahead and clear this closed. I like it. And so this is still a tuck spot here, and then this is a tuck spot here. Decisions. like the flower right here. And there we go. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's put it in the page. Yeah, that looks fun. And this needs a little glue. Put this washi tape. Let's make this top a pocket too. Mm. 
And there we go. We can stick this in here. And this here. And then we also have this guy. It can go there or it can go in there sticking out the top. But I think I'm going to use this one for now. And then I just have to put that in the journal. It's cute, cute. All right. So I think that will do for today. <laughs> I have to figure out where I'm headed next. Um, thank you so much for joining me for part two, and I'll see you in part three. All right. I hope you have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.